You throw it at someone and I will get you for assault because I got you on video, lady. Yeah, don't throw stuff. I will call the cops on you. Ooh. See, that's a, this is where I always like to bring it back to. If that lady was dealing with a child who was like that, where they're having an absolute tantrum saying, please, give me this thing that I want, even though I am behaving quite awfully. And then they would say, well, not until you behave nicely. And then the kid would say, well, then give it to me. Yeah, see, that doesn't work. That doesn't fly. You can't do that. That's child, no, you can't. You, you're behaving like a kid. And you wouldn't have that. So the, I think a Starbucks, Starbucks employees, or whatever coffee shop that is, should not have it either. Actually, but you actually, actually it is you a, are, you're interfering with a hunt. That's that's a fine that, right there. That's an that's actual offense. Sure. I mean, go ahead. Not. You want a ticket? Just taking my sons out for a couple of hours. We, we're not well, trying to hurt anyone. All right. Huh? She. Well, well, obviously not in a shooting lane. So. Beach here. Yeah, there's logs down there. That's why we tried to stay away from there. there so we wouldn't interrupt anybody walking. <sighs> okay, so I come from a rural area of Canada, which means there's hunting that happens and goes on. Me personally, I'm not much of a hunter. I'm more of a city guy. I like going downtown. Chris will tell you, I like to have a little drinky poo once in a while. He knows that. I like bars going out downtown. It's fun. Not so much a country guy. However, yeah, I can country bunk sometimes. But people got to understand, if you've got the permits, everything's legal, everything's good. There's no harm in that really on paper, finger quotes. Some people might not like when animals get hurt or hunted and this and that. I understand that. That's a fair, that's fair. That's absolutely fair. I understand that. But you can't block a man. Watch me. And like you said, I'm just taking my sons out for a bit. They're just chilling. They're being chilling, man. Sometimes you don't even have to catch anything or get anything. Sometimes it's just about sitting there and bonding with your dad, your uncle, your brother, whatever, whoever it is. Maybe it's your mom too. You shouldn't say just, I shouldn't say just dudes because sometimes moms comes out too. So it's it's just, uh, it's a different kind of bonding experience. But uh, the respect has to go both ways. That's that's the new rule. Respect got to go two ways. No, 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 when can I come back? Look, they're, they're falling off. Did you have a receipt or a transaction yeah, receipt for them? Yeah. Are you the only what, what, I'm not, but I can understand customer service, so I'm 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 just trying to understand. I, too, I mean, if you years, anybody can flash a picture, but if you're gonna come in and make a scene. In the middle of us just trying to enjoy our time. She did it. I'm, she I, I mean, I would I'd love to see some receipts. I'm sure they'd love to see some receipts, right? Uh, I'm see this. The, this is something I need my sister Olivia for because I'm not that familiar with the nail stuff. The nail, the nail. I guess her nails are coming off. You know, but that's that's kind of an interesting, interesting thing too, though, because I know like like I bet hair salons like when people cut their hair, like, they must have problems with that too. Like even if it's like, yeah, it's so weird. That's so weird because like it's once you do it, you can't really take it back. You know what I mean? If you're in a restaurant, you get bad food, take it back. Hopefully it comes out comes out better. But in a salon or a beauty place like that, that take there's a lot of time that goes into that. And if it's hair or something, you can't even grow it back. Well, because if you could, that'd be really cool. Just grow, ugh, grow hair on the scene like that. It'd be pretty sick. But yeah, I, I don't know. That's ah, you gotta keep your receipts. I don't know. Maybe go somewhere. I don't know. I feel I'm I'm in favor of the establishment there. Not with her, man. I gotta say. Why would you make your love? Let me you finish my job. No, I want to. No, don't, don't close my. Don't push my door. To go to work? Yes. Okay. Two seconds. I found. I'm driving off. That's my job. If you, don't oh, push my doors. Second. Don't touch me. Yeah. Don't push my doors. Who's pushing doors? Don't close me. I will report you. That's the offense, and you will see. No you offense. you will be prosecuted for it because. Listen. Yeah. Stop touching me. No, I won't move it. Okay, you can stay here. I'll be here one hour. 
Uh, yeah, he looks in the back of a truck and he's trying to, uh, he's trying to get, he's doing paperwork. Hey, look, I've been there before. I've helped unload trucks and been there. I'm not a truck driver, although, look at me. I could be a truck driver. Come on, look at me. Put a little trucker hat on me. Put a little, get a little, get a little, get a road behind me. I could be a trucker. Sure, why not? But yeah, the dude's trying to do his job. I think that, that I think might be the number one worst thing. When it's someone trying to do their job, doing an effort to, to just get the day through so they can go home to their family. And, and if you want to, you want to stop that? I think you got a problem, lady. You, you should, just wait a couple minutes. Go on your cell phone. Check the Instagram. See what's going on. You probably got some messages. If you think you're that important, you probably have messages. So go check them and just chill out for a bit. Just an idea. It's on you. You, you, you need to move. I can move. Here we go then again. Do it. Yeah. Excuse me, who are you? I want his side because he's right. Look, Karen, it's time to move. Oh my god. What? <laughs> <laughs> what did she do? Just go. What are you doing? Why? And then she's squeezing behind the truck. I, I don't I don't know. Why Why must people hinder others at work? Especially truck drivers, service people, anyone. The guy the guy in the back, I'm assuming the guy in the background was the actual truck driver or something. He goes, I don't need this. I don't need this. My husband has two jobs. He doesn't need this. He needs to get home to his family and do his job, lady. Come on. Come on. Some sort of sports venue here. Good song, but wait, what? She pushed her. Wait, hold on. What does that say? She just pushed her. Dog, she just straight up just pushed her, and then <laughs> what was that, dude? She was walking up the stairs, and the lady's like, looks like she's not even like. She might just be taking a video nonchalantly, and then the lady pushed her down, and then she falls down in some. Instant karma. We all, it's karma. We we love it. We know it. Don't do that. You, okay, usually when we watch these, there's like a reason, or there's like not a, not a reason. Not that I'm condoning ever pushing anybody, but what I'm saying is usually there's a buildup. This one, she just walks up and just, ugh. Like she owns the place. Like she owns that stadium. What color, actually, what color is it? What colors are those? I'm not sure. Let us know, actually. Let us know. I don't know what colors are those. Is it college colors? Maybe it's college football. I'm not sure. Because uh, we all know that things go a little heated there, too. But hey, don't do that. Misbehaving. I'm quitting McDonald's. Yeah. To the joint, yeah. She's, she's throwing something. Pink hair, love it. Why? Why? Like that, look, it's like stop. Well, look, there's this thing in class that used to happen to me when the teachers knew I was getting a little too rowdy. I mean, I was never throwing stuff around, but I was a loud kid. I like to make jokes, have fun, talk to my friends in class. And sometimes I got a little too loud. And they'd say, Andrew, why don't you just do a big old check-in? Big old just so put some trees behind me or something. Put some, and just uh, breathe, dude. Just, oh yeah, nice. You know what I mean? Just check in with yourself and realize maybe I shouldn't be throwing this at minimum wage employees. Maybe I should just forget whatever upset me and go home. And I swear down, bro, if the reason for this was over some chicken mac nuggies, you're gonna be in some trouble. I love chicken mac nuggies too, just as much as the next guy, but that doesn't mean we can get violent. Karen tries to ruin street performance. Hey, sweetheart, there's kids here, there's kids here. There's kids here. Oh no. There's kids. Oh. You should you should have some respect, sweetheart. Please. Man, that's that one that one really hurts, dude. That one really sucks. Street performers, I got a lot of love and respect for street performers, man, because you guys are the life of the city. There's the there it is, brother. Karen tells the cops to arrest the performers. Cops arrest Karen instead. The show is saved. There's all kinds of weird, wacky, and crazy ones, but that's that's the flavor of the city, man. And Toronto, it's no different. We got lots here. There's tons of people. You go to go to Dundas Square, you see a lot of them. It's crazy down there. It's fun though. But some people, that's their way of living. That's how they live. That's their job. They're there to to perform. It's what they do. And as a performer myself, I get that. You need to do it. Uh, but why you why you'd wake up? And on that nice sunny day, it looks like, and come down there and, and just step all over him, man. You gotta be hurting yourself, cause that's just, that's just not, that's not cool, man. That's not cool at all. So thank you, street performers. You do you. You can sing without an amplifier. The problem is the amplifier. People are trying to work. On a Saturday, there's probably nobody in the offices around here. Now we look at fun. Summer He's pretty good. Actually. Actually. I thought you said I could sing without an amplifier. That's what you said. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. Everybody! 
some darling, darling stand. It's gonna be copyrighted, but it's a good song. Again, the street performers thing, you know, it just let them let them do that, man. It's it's the street. You can't. I feel like it's kind of actually connected to if you got time to lean, you got time to clean. And if you got time to lean and clean, if you got time to complain about the street performers, then you're probably not doing your job because, like, I know when I'm working other jobs, when I'm at, when I when I was when I used to work retail, you don't have time to sit down and be like, oh man, I hate the way the people out. Ah, oh, you don't have time for that because you're working, you're busy, you're doing things. So maybe she's not. Uh, maybe she's not doing things. We should check up on that. You won't graduate to be anything in life. Oh, the disrespect. Oh, G for Gabagool. Oh my God. Yeah. Hey, listen. Um, I've been there. I'm not gonna. You know, I'm not gonna. I, I, there's a part of me that goes, look, this is a graduation. It's a you know commencement. It's an operation. The whole thing going on. It's supposed to be a beautiful moment. You're taking your next step in life. It's gonna be beautiful. But at the same time, I'm also somebody that believes in being real. I'm gonna be. I'm. That's who I am. I'm an honest guy. Be as real as real could be. And if there was a teacher like that, who I had a few of them. Uh, I don't know. I'm doing a lot of cowboy lately. Sorry. It's because I'm so dehydrated. But when I had teachers like that, I didn't want to shake their hand. I didn't want anything to do with them. They didn't want nothing to do with me. They thought I was a weirdo. Maybe I don't know, but uh, I, I get it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna condone it. But I, I get that one. I absolutely get that one. There's teachers, and I think Chris agrees. There's some teachers that shouldn't be teachers, right, Chris? Yeah, for sure. See, he agrees with me. So I just landed in New York City, and I'm so excited to get. Whoa! Hey, I'm walking here. I'm really excited to. Listen to me. We don't talk like that. We don't say things like that. You understand? Whoa! Do you understand? Okay, sorry. Forget about it. <laughs> Oh, forget about it. That's, I'm just doing that. That's crazy. A, B, C, D, E, F, G for Gabagool. And he said, forget about it. That might be real. That one could be real. I don't know. That's <laughs> that's funny, though. I like it. Uh, nobody talks like that. You know, Nobody talks like that here. Oh, you know, I, I mean, hey, it's New York. That's, that's, that's a New York accent. It's a lot of, we'll go around the corner for a cup of coffee. That's what you do. That's what you learn in film school. That's what you learn in acting school. The first thing they teach you. So, hey, it's a, it's a, it's a dialect and accent of the area. That's how it goes. He's just having some fun, but if that was real lady, just uh, take it down from an 11 to about a 6. I know sometimes that's hard for New York. Shout out to New York. I love you, but turn it down from 11 to a 6, please. Please. Either I'll make a phone call, I'll knock you out my Oh. Don't you ever talk to somebody in their job while they're doing their best to help you? That's not their fault. Fuck. Let's go to your car. Let's go to your car right now. Oh, here we go. Right the right one on the wrong day. Where are you? What's up? Nobody in here is going to help you now. You disrespected him. So what's up? Didn't you just tell me to suck it? What's up? I'll give you one more chance. I'll give you one more chance. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see what he did, um, but obviously it would have been pretty freaking bad to warrant this level of response. And I mean, yeah, like she's giving it to him. You know, it's like she's giving it to him. If you work there, you can't really do that. Like you can, but you can't. Cause it's like, you don't, you know, if your boss is there, you don't want to be saying stuff like that. But a customer, yeah, you can, man. Like she was, she had their backs, dude, respect. Bye bye. What? Show to see y'all again. Oh man. Play with me again. You Oh my god. Ah, you going to jail. Oh, you're done now. Call the law on You're done now. Ah, you're going to jail now. Ah. Yo, get right when them laws come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally. Doors locked now, lady. Where are you gonna go? Like you were doing your thing. You thought you could get out with it. You thought you could get away with that? I don't think so, man. You going to jail? Oh, I've seen this one before, man. This is super yeah, creepy. Uh, we were just told that you were taking photos. Oh. Hey, listen. Is there any way that we could see your camera? Roll? No, so that's quick? okay. I, I can't I see wasn't. your camera roll if you weren't taking pictures of us. Can we just see your camera roll? Oh, quick? no. Can you just I, pull I, out your I, camera roll? I wasn't. Well, if you, want, you, you look like you were, buddy. One, two, three, four. 
four, five. Now go in your go in your trash bin. No, that's my go son. Go in your trash bin. Anybody recognize this man? This is somebody no, no, hey, hey. that takes pictures. Wow, yeah. Public. No, don't worry. No, I'll and he's call you married. Out. I'll call married. you out. And he's, and he's married. Oh, oh my I'm god. I'm don't Come ever on. do that again. Okay. Yeah. Wow, dude. That like you are caught, dude. Like just like. That's so weird. That is so weird. You're married, you have a kid, even if you weren't, but it's just like, that's just as, that's the cherry on top here. And you're taking pictures of female in public. Like, what are you doing, man? Like, what are you doing? Not cool, bro, not cool. Hey, Where's my car? Get, all right, look, you got everything out of there, right? Can I have my purse? Give me my purse. Mm, I'm not just talk like that. Give me my purse. Stop. Oh, Give me my that was a valiant Give attempt purse. there, lady. We're leaving. Give me my purse. Give stop. me my purse. How many times? Okay, just phone. keep saying it, I guess. Give me my phone. Oh, Give yeah, yeah, phone. now they're going to do it. Yeah, lady, that's not the way to go about doing this, okay? Like, nobody's gonna give you your purse, give you your phone by just repeating that non-stop. Like, I'm just like, no, like, just to, just so, like, you can shut up. Like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Like, you're double going to jail now, lady. And then to throw things at them, like, come on, man. Yeah. Put your mask yeah. on, please. Don't put your mask on. Wow. Don't. You ain't going anywhere. You ain't going anywhere, thief. Yeah, I'm crying out because you're caught. Uh huh. No, I'm not. So what are you so upset about? Wow, they got her good, dude. They got her good. Like that's just you know, like don't do it. Don't do it, like don't be stealing stuff, man. Like if you're not willing to deal with the consequences, like you gotta know, like if you're gonna do something like that, like this could be what happens, guys. Like I could go to jail, I could get caught, I could be in big trouble. And that's what happened here, lady. Now you're gonna cry about it in the middle of the store? Like they don't care, they don't care. They wanna see you go to jail, like ridiculous. Who do you work for? Who? Do you jail? You sure? Is there any at the end today? You're stealing stuff? Mm -hmm. Huh? Houses? You're caught in video. Oh, boys. We've got it in CCTV. Drops a day. We're not stealing. So, where's your identification? Where's your identification? Yeah, you caught, gentlemen. You caught. What are you doing? What are they even stealing, guys? Like, I couldn't even make that out. Like, it looks like landscaping stuff or something. I assume it's not that, but like, my boys are dressed like they're ready to go, like, work on a golf course or something like that. So, I don't know what the hell they're stealing, man. But uh, comment down below if you guys know what it is. Crazy. Man, what are you talking about? We do not sell those. Those come with a water machine that we have. We only serve water out of them. And you're worried about something that I paid seventy dollars for. Uh, you did not pay seventy dollars for that. Yeah, we I did. don't even. There's no possible <laughs> way. It, it doesn't exist. <laughs> We're ridiculous. Seventy dollars. Give me the other bottle. Bye. Give me the Bye. other bottle. Hey, close the door. Give me the other close bottle. The door. I'm not letting Please. you leave with. An idiot. I mean, him. Really? You're acting crazy. Really? Why are you? No. Wow, him? you just stole them, lady. Yeah, like you just pulled it out. You just stole it like in your wow I'm surprised that he even let her get away with that man I mean, I guess at the end of the day like it's just a water bottle Which is you know kind of more the principle than anything else and then to like I just don't understand people when they get caught and they're like no I didn't no I didn't and it's like but it's right there like I see it You know and, and it's like she's like oh I paid $70 for this. I'm like no you didn't it's a plastic water bottle lady Like I know you didn't do that weird Well, you just caught in front, man. Oh, I got oh, big deal. I got in the line. The line that I've been sitting in. The line no. that I've been sitting in. You're behind me. No. You pull up. No. You pull up after me. No. Bro, can I get some <laughs> gas? Why are you not no, getting some gas? I'm in line. Because you're throwing a temper tantrum. 
No. Bro, can you give me some gas? I've been waiting just like everybody else. No, I'm okay. I'll be honest. If he actually has been waiting like everyone else and like this is just like wrong, then like that sucks. But shout out gas attendant. Like shout out gas attendant. It's just like, yeah, like I, I do the exact same thing. You just cut in front of somebody. No, dude, like you're not getting served right now. Sorry, that's just how it goes. Like, you know, when I we used to work retail and stuff, if anybody did that, I'd be like, no, I'm actually helping this person right here. I'll get to you right afterwards. So sorry. You know, and then if they cause a problem, it's just like, no, sorry, man. Like, I'm not going to help you anymore. Like, this is who I have to deal with first. Then you're next, you know, it's like why are these people so entitled dude? It's just a, the audacity to do something like this. Yeah, get the camera out of my face She would have asked me to move and all you had to do is say hey, man That's kind of rude. Why don't you move instead of coming up and taking pictures of it. Is that not rude? You're lucky my husband ain't here. Oh, yeah That's not handicapped though, and that's why I moved way over so that the person in the No, it says no out. parking and it has lines because okay. a person with uh, a disabled person needs that area in order to load and unload. Who are you? I don't really care. Oh. Okay. Stop taking pictures oh of boy, me. oh boy. Do I have any idea who you are? I don't know, lady. Is your name Karen, potentially? Just throwing it out there. It's possible. Could potentially be. I don't know. Yeah. Literally. Literally. Like shout out. It doesn't matter what I like. I can tell you don't like it. Well, too bad. Go someplace else. Go to Burger King. Yeah. Go to Burger King. Would you shut up? I just said that. I said shut up. I don't care who you call. I could care less. Yeah, dude. I, I mean, like, solid respect. I don't know what she was saying beforehand, but obviously it was rude as all holy hell, and my dude called her out on it, and then she's like, oh my god, like, somebody's calling me out. Like, I, how do I even respond to this? It's like, yeah, lady, because you're rude as hell. Like, this is what happens. I feel like all these people think they can just say whatever they want, they can do whatever they want, and there will be no consequences whatsoever. And the second that any sort of consequence comes out, it's like, oh my gosh, like, I don't need, like, I'm the victim now. Like, get out of here. Hope your day's going good. This thunder Karen. Hopefully she's got a book in there on how to f count. Wait, oh, is it the is it the fast checkout? I just saw the seven and I didn't look anywhere else. I was like, is she not supposed to be in aisle seven? Is that the, um, what do they call that? I don't know. <laughs> what do they call those fast aisles, the fast checkouts? I don't know, but clearly this is one. What the hell? I'd be doing the same thing. I'd be filming, I'd be going, you're annoying, you're not supposed to be here. What the heck? You're supposed to have like six items or less in those aisles. <laughs> There's a full cart in front of you. No, no thanks, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Like, imagine. That's just, I get it. Like, missing your flight sucks so bad. It sucks so bad. But, like, you know what's worse than missing your flight? A felony. <laughs> Way worse. Oh my gosh, imagine. Also, just so unsafe. Don't do that. So unsafe. There's a reason why it's such a serious offense. It's unsafe for everybody. They don't take plane safety not seriously. Oh Alright, fast as the GPS can take me. Yeah, I thought it was a luxury one too. This this is. Oh. Good, good for him. Like, what in the f You're a little late. I'm like, you can watch them on the app. That's how that works. So We're no. not even at our destination. I, I don't care. You guys aren't going to talk to him like that the entire time. Are you serious? We're your bills. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. We're going to fully refund this. You're going to get out of my car, and you're going to do it right now. Also, I thought this was a luxury one, and then does your car have any cup holders? I'm like, how many fancy cars have you been in where they really prioritize cup holders? Come on, you guys have a lot of cars. 
I don't know, Billy. Really, now I need you to step out of my vehicle. I don't know. <laughs> Personally, I've been in none. What? We pay your bills, sir. I'm like, no, you don't. One Uber ride does not pay that man's bills. I'll tell you that for sure. I'm out. Why are people just so entitled? This is the jankiest car I've ever been in. I hope no one sees me here. I'm like, well, <laughs> welcome to the internet. Everyone's seen you in that car. Hope that feels good. I'm broke, okay? I'm going to. Well, this is graffiti. Well, it's not. It's a city project that I've been it's... paid for by the city storm well, commission to, to educate. There's a permit that you don't need to see. This is graffiti. It's not graffiti. Just because you stand here and paint doesn't mean you're from the city. Well, I am. You need to prove it. Not to you. I've never seen a, a guy who's like graffitiing like in a bad way and in a legal way where you're not supposed to graffiti, but like they set out pylons first to, around them. Personally, never seen that. <laughs> well, well, let's wait then. God, you're the. Must I'm have, not going to harm you. You must I have you nothing harm. better to do than to be harassing you an artist. You don't have anything better to do than put graffiti on the wall. Oh, this God. is graffiti. I can't wait to post this on my social media stuff. Please do. Like, also, is this guy the graffiti police? Like, leave it alone. Listen, I don't think you should graffiti in places you're not supposed to graffiti, but I do think that when somebody's paid to create this beautiful art, like, I love to see it. Graffiti is so cool. Graffiti artists are so talented, and I love seeing it. So just, like, leave this man alone. Do you want a nice, cool mural to look at later? And yeah, you, you better have a permit or something. I'm like, who, who the Really, at the end of the day, who are you, mister? Also, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm like, yeah, why would you hurt somebody over graffiti? That would be weird if you did, sir. That's my buggy. What the f y'all doing, man? No, what I, the goddamn hell are you doing? I asked him to move it for me. You don't move people's yeah, buggy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You don't move people's buggy. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I'm a customer here. That's my buggy. I'm a worker, sir. I don't give a damn if you are, boy. You don't have to cop. Like, what in the world? <laughs> Just an old guy getting angry because somebody moved his buggy. <laughs> Why is everyone angry in Walmart all the time? I will call the cops. I want to escort you as, I'll, I'll escort you out myself. You want me to go get loopy? Go. You want me to go get loopy? Go. I will tear your ass, boy. <laughs> Do I have to I'm 67 you? years old and I will kick yeah, I you know. all over this place. No, you will not. Now you gotta go. Now you gotta just chill. Just chill. Get some cheap groceries or whatever you get at Walmart. Walmart's weird because you can get food, but you can also get clothes. You can get like puzzles. You can get a lot of stuff really at Walmart. At those super centers, you can get like anything. I don't know. I just think it's a weird mix of stuff. What do you get when you go to Walmart, Chris? Oh yeah, when we look for like good corporations, I'm like Walmart. Walmart and Amazon. We should all aspire to be just like them. Don't forget about me! Can you stop scaring my customers, please? <laughs> Sir, I, I'm a mannequin. Go be a mannequin someplace else. <laughs> where, where, do, where do you think the best place to be a mannequin would be? Oh my god. I just really like how chill the manager was. Uh, I think Sayak sounds really cool. <laughs> I can like hurt business for your competitors. Like say like me and you can like start a deal, right? And like I can like go to your competitors, say like this is Macy's, I could go to JC Penney's. I can like pose a mannequin there. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> go be a mannequin somewhere else. <laughs> that would be like, how do you even deal with that? Managers have to deal with the weirdest stuff sometimes. Cause I mean, as an employee, I pass everything off to my manager. If anything's wrong, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> This is for you to deal with. Sorry. Man, I'm just a guy being a mannequin. That'd be scary. Please stop scaring people in my store. You know what? You're making no sense at all. No, you're making okay. no sense. I, I don't care about pets. your kids and pets. You were but in the car. You to spare. I don't I care. I slowed down. Just, it's a beautiful day. It's like a tree-lined street. Things should just be good. These two people are just screaming at each other. You cross the street and then but you cross right in the street. There are no pets. I don't know why you're bringing kids and pets into the conversation. Oh my God. Jeez Louise. Every neighborhood has just like a neighborhood Karen, I feel like. You know? And her option was to either hit somebody else or like, you know, not good options here for the Karen. And you get a video. Oh, I've seen this whole video. Headphone warning. 
Jesus. I want him arrested. <laughs> face. Like, <laughs> man, she is the worst. I've seen this whole video, and it's the most annoying thing I've ever seen in my life. You wanna go to jail? For what, sir? Disorderly conduct. Oh, disorderly conduct. That's, that type of attitude right there is probably gonna end up in jail. Just let you know. Oh, I'm really afraid. Okay. I'm so know. afraid of you guys. Give me a. You're gonna go back over here. If you're gonna block his way or grab one of his car, you've got one or two things. You go to jail for disorderly conduct, or you can go to the mental. And like the police officers are so calm the whole time. They're so respectful of her, even though she's just like harassing them and just being. <laughs> A Karen. There's a lot of other words that I would use beforehand, but we'll just call her a Karen because it sums them all up pretty well. Like, just the worst. It makes a lot of sense that she got arrested. So you can't just scream the streets. Oh, I can't say or really, so sorry. You could cut that one out. <laughs> This lifeguard beat Karen at her own game. This woman was a lifeguard at this public pool and they had a strict policy at this pool. You can't bring outside food or drinks. But of course, Karen doesn't think the rules apply to her because she showed up at this pool with a Starbucks drink in her hand. When the lifeguard told her, you can't bring outside food and drink here. Is that like a thing that that guy does? He just sums up Karen encounters like that? Because if so, I'm following that TikTok account. It's the rules. Karen got really angry. Karen finally snaps and she decided to pour her coffee into the pool, which turns out was a pretty stupid decision because now she had committed a crime that was disturbing the peace, which is a violation of state law. So the lifeguard was now able to call the cops and Karen was arrested and spent the rest of the day in the county jail. Wow. Wow. I do wish we had video of the incident, but I will say, shout outs to this guy for really like capturing the whole thing, summing it up quickly and nicely for us, and then adding some uh, nice little graphics for us to look at behind him. I really enjoyed, that was a great TikTok. I'm watching you drive all the way up the street with your head buried in the phone. All the way up the street. No, it was not. Okay. I'm directly in my damn neighborhood. Do you really have nothing else? You're gonna, you're gonna get pulled over. You have nothing else better to do. Lot. Nice. <laughs> Man, I have seen this video too. Um, and like, just why? Do you have nothing else better to do? I'm like, no, that's literally their job is to keep people safe on the road and to make sure that people aren't breaking the law while they're driving, which texting is illegal while you're driving. So. And also, even if you were just looking at directions, you still can't have your phone in your hand regardless. You're willing to text with your daughter in the back seat. Oh, cool. Dude, I'm not texting. You I'm were sitting. typing and you look, there's a picture there and you're typing under with a green text bubble. I'm not comments texting. On a, comments on a picture. This address, courtroom 1B, to plead not guilty in front of a judge. So, I don't know. Like, that's just the rules and you, and like, why? Why the hostility? You, <laughs> Just be like, you know what? I f up. That's it. That's the end of. I'm getting a ticket. Whatever. Don't text and drive, lady. Man, I hate when people are just rude for no reason. It makes me angry.